Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel and Skyrim. And I'm really excited about this video as I've been planning to do it for ages and ages, but kept on getting sidetracked. And today, seeing as we're in Raven Rocky and Solstheim, we're going to see Glover Mallory and get the unique Blackguard's armor, an exquisite sapphire, which again is a unique item, and finally, and more importantly, the final Thief's Cache which means I'll be able to do an updated video on where to find all the caches at long last. So, let's crack on. So, we'll quickly run to uh, Glover's uh, Smith, and he's not here, so we'll have to wait maybe for an hour. He's obviously a late starter, there he is. So, we quickly run over there and talk to him. You haven't seen Crescius Corellius, have you? That foolish old man's taken my pickaxe again. No, no, no. Why will the fuss over a simple pickaxe? pickaxe? I'm talking about an ancient Nordic pickaxe. They don't exactly now, by the way, you need one of these you know. for all the uh, future stuff we can be doing in Solstheim. I mean, you really do need it. I prefer to handle these things on my own. Look, if you see Crescius, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. Okay. And you'd say, I noticed a shadow mark by your door, so he now recognises well, you well, as a fellow a Thieves Guild member. Someone from the guilds bothered to make their way out here. So he doesn't me, know your guild's master yet. Delvin, still spending his nights at the Ragged Flagon trying to win Vex's heart. Yeah, he sort of crack onto Vex. He's not doing well. Good to hear. He's well. Damn layabout never even bothers to send his own flesh and blood a letter saying how he's doing. Can you imagine? Anyway, I suppose you're looking for work. Well, I got bad news. This place is drier than a damn bone. Okay, this is important. I click you on nothing at all. Coin, eh? That's the spirit. I'll tell you what. The guild's got a problem out here that I've been trying to deal with for years, but haven't been able to handle. The thief guild has a problem Don't out here. Me like that. I'm all alone out here with no one to watch my back. And besides, it's really my problem anyway. I caused it. A what did you do? Who went by the name Esmond Tyne showed up at my doorstep about a fortnight ago. He noticed the shadow marks like you did, and I thought he was one of us. He stole something from you, right? Right out from under my nose. Can you believe it? It's he's clearly a rubbish thief. That's why he's a blacksmith. Home. Took me years to perfect. Where's well, Esmond Tyne now? He was talking some nonsense about trying to fence goods to the Reeklings at Castle Karstag. I always call them Reeklings, so Reeklings. There you go. Think about talking to those vicious little buggers, but he wouldn't listen. I'd bet a fat purse of coin that he's either dead or hiding out up there. I'll get that formula you back for that, you, and I'll make sure you're set up right. You won't be disappointed. Okay, so we've got two little quests to do, um, and then we're in business. So, let's crack on. And a quick FYI as well, uh, doing the Paid in Full uh, quest allows you to forge the improved Bone Mold armour, um, which is slightly stronger than Dwarven armour, but lays, we oh, lays west? Weighs less. So, again, that's another bonus you get out of doing this uh, uh, little quest here. Okay, into Raven Rock Mine and speak to uh, Cressius. Now this will open up another quest which we're not going to do now. Uh, we'll do that later on. I'm not spending the rest of my days as a widow. And I'm telling you that I'll do whatever it takes to find my great grandfather's remains. He's down here. I can feel it. And so there's a, a, a lot of lore in, in this particular quest. Um, like I say. Why should I tell you? I don't even know who you are. And perhaps I could help. Maybe. Been difficult trusting people lately. They think I'm crazy. But also, I would recommend doing a few side quests for the people around the town as well, because I want to get the final player home, and you have to do that kind of thing to get it. The East Empire Company swept under the rug two centuries ago. It killed my great grandfather and left Raven Rock with a worthless and tainted mind. And who was your great grandfather? Aurelius. He spent his entire life exploring ancient ruins across Tamriel. And he died in these very mines almost 200 years ago. And how did he die? The East Empire Company called it a terrible accident. 
claiming that he was lost in a rock fall. But I know better. What's your proof? My wife and I were cleaning out our home, and we came across some of my great-grandfather's things locked in an old chest. His wife does look too young for him, though, to be fair. He'd written to the East Empire Company and a key. And what did the letter say? It describes a discovery that was made in the mine by some of the diggers. They wanted Gratian to take a closer look. The East Empire Company must have felt it was of great value as they locked that section of the mine off from everyone else. It is. The key is the lock section? Well, I assume it is. I haven't been able to find the entrance. That's hardly proof of anything. Now you're starting to sound like everyone else. I'm telling you, there's something big down there. Something that the East Empire Company wanted to hide from everyone. Look. Why are you I telling me all of this? I'm too old to go traipsing around these mines chasing my story. Time's my enemy. It caught up with me before I could find the answers that I'm looking for. So you do need my help. I want to know what happened to Gracia and what the East Empire Company is keeping from all of us. Any idea where to start? Journal of notes about his discoveries. If you can find his remains, I'm hoping it will help. Here's everything I have. You would dare Letter, to trust the king's rules. Please, Dragon. do this for me so I can finally knowledge. regain the respect that I've lost. Okay, and... Um, now Glover wants his ancient Nordic pickaxe back. The damn fool doesn't even deserve to have it. The pickaxe was made for mining, not selling. I'll bet he stole it from the skull in the first place. He probably did, to be fair. And it doesn't belong to you. Oh, very well. Here, tell him I hope he drops a thing on his foot. <laughs> okay. Okay, for the purposes of this um, uh, video, um, we quickly run back and give the uh, axe back. But we will come back and do that quest. There's a, quite a lot more dialogue to go through Try there. The huh? Okay. Run all the way back. Hello, my friend. Hello. Okay. Find my pickaxe yet? I have your ancient Nordic pickaxe. So. You finally tracked down old Crescius, eh? Quite a character, isn't he? Tell you what, since you went through all the trouble of finding it for me and all, you keep it. As I said, you do need this. I just wanted to remind Well, if you're going to do sort of things that I'm, I'm going to be doing videos on later on, people. yeah, you will need it for sure. Now that you've delivered the message, I'm satisfied. That's the way the game Besides, uh, that gets you to have one. Any good in years. Maybe you can put it to good use. Okay, so next, okay, so we got to head up to Castle Karstag uh, Caverns. Um, now, there's a lot of things to do in there, but I'm going to literally get in there, get the recipe, and uh, get out. Um, uh, so, and we'll revisit them at a later time. Now, to get there, literally run up the coast. Okay, that's Castle Karstag Ruined, and the caverns are there. Okay, so you haven't been anywhere else, that's the easiest way to go. If you've done the White Ridge uh, Barrow uh, with the Spider Scrolls, which um, I'm going to be posting soon, um, you can fast travel there. Okay, there are enemies on the way, so go prepared for that. I can't see the point of going to the Thursk uh, Mead Hall, it's just further. Okay. Or you can go to White Ridge Barrow and go around there. Okay, whichever way you want to go. Okay, so let's crack on. As I said before, there's quite a lot to do uh, here, but uh, I won't bother this time. I'm going to literally sneak in, grab the gear, and get out. And this is really what my character is actually built around, which I don't, I don't use it. So the way it's, I don't use any of the way she's meant to be used. So you can see there's uh, Reekling followers, not Reeklings, Reeklings. Um, so I'll get Genesa to wait here. I should just pick a fight. She's a savage. I'm still here. Yeah, that's uncomfortably close. Can you wait here, please? Thank you. Uh, 
Okay. Quick save in case it all goes wrong. And let's go invisible. Oh, I just can't get up on the ice. Come on, come on. Get up. Okay, that's a bit weird. Okay, right, got the formula. Ebony Debra, oh, that's good. Flawless Amethyst, Flawless Ruby, that's very good, 32. And we got Thieves Guild Variance Armour, so there's no enchantments on this. Now that's good to have. Yeah. Daddy likes. So anyway, we'll snaffle that. Go invisible again. And uh, we'll leg it back to Mallory. Hi, Jennifer. There you go. Yep, follow me. Lead the way. I can't do know why. I, d I don't want to kill the Reeklings. I'm afraid I'm going to have to. Anyway, let's fast travel back to uh, Glover in Raven Rock. Now, there's a glitch that can happen that he doesn't actually recognise you um, or allows you to actually hand the quest back in. Hello, friend. So the dialogue isn't coming uh, up for the quest. A fine question. The okay, so what you do for this is uh, exit out the dialogue, run away a little bit. Open up your quest panel, turn off the quest, and then what you want to do is fast travel somewhere else. In this case, I have to travel to uh, Raven Rock, which is good enough. It kind of resets it and then run back and see him. I'll set the quest up again, sorry, and then uh, go and see Glover again. And that should fix it. I don't know if that's a common glitch, but uh, hey, it's easy enough to solve. Any luck tracking down Esmond? And he's dead, but at least I found the I formula. Told him not to head up there. Sounds like the bloody fool got what he deserved. Here, I want you to take this key. Head inside my house and unlock the door in the basement. Help yourself to whatever you like inside. I won't be using it anymore. And you get some really decent stuff in here for such a simple thing to do. Return any time. You're quite welcome here. My victory jumps are getting rubbish these days. Look. <laughs> Good to see you. Come outside, girl. Absolutely rubbish. Okay, so... I ran around the whole house. You can pick up some interesting stuff here. Um, very little of it uh, is to steal, but some of it is, so be careful. Might as well have a little look in here. Get my lockpicking stuff on. And if any of you having um, difficulties lock picking, ECM Empire Appendant, grab that. Um, I've done a video on how to uh, lock pick, so I'm sure most of you do, but some people have difficulty with it. And I'm sorry, guys, I'm collecting books again. You looking for something? Yeah, I haven't read that one. It's got a glow on it. And FYI, um, because I'm collecting books, I've got a mod that puts a glow on the ones I haven't read. Yeah, these uh, can be quite difficult to find uh, ingredients. Okay. Apple pie, nom nom. Mm. 
Okay, lots of good books for me. I to check out some of the barrels because like, sometimes uh, you get good ingredients in these barrels. Oh, come on. Empty. Okay, this is uh, where we want to go. Okay, and there it is, the final Thieves Cache. I'll do a new video on, on where to find them. It's actually proved uh, one of my more popular videos. Uh, sadly, they're not all popular. <laughs> hey, maybe one day. And so look, some pretty damn good loose in them. They, they really are. And to be honest, once you've done the Thieves Quest, uh, you don't ever have to worry about uh, money anymore, really. Because every, every 10 days uh, in-game, uh, you can go back and uh, get a whole load more stuff. And it's all high level stuff as well. Obviously the high level, you are the high level the stuff you get. And the plot thickens as well, because it turns out old uh, Glover is Sapphire and the Thieves Guild father. And this is the note, I'll read it to you while I'm loosing around the house. My dearest daughter Sapphire, it's with a heavy heart that I write this letter. For years I thought about how I could tell you this, and each time I imagined it would be face to face. I'm ashamed for what I did, and I hope that someday you'll learn to forgive me. Whatever you do, don't play Del blame Delvin for any of this. He didn't know. Long after I joined the guild, I was sent to rob a caravan that was stopped in a tiny farming village far from the borders of Skyrim. When I arrived there, I was a day early and decided to sleep for the night in the barn of a pig farm. I woke the next morning when the most beautiful woman I'd ever laid eyes on walked in to do her chores. She wasn't even frightened when she saw me. In an instant, I think we had both fallen in love. I ended up living with that woman in that tiny little village for a year until she was with the child. And then, like a coward, I ran away. I was a thief and I didn't want to end up a farmer. It was a terrible thing to do. I didn't have the courage to return to that village for almost 15 years. When I finally decided to visit, it was too late. It had been raided by bandits and burned to the ground. Everyone was either dead or gone, including you, my only child. Years later, when you were recruited by Brynjolf, I couldn't believe my eyes. You were a splitting image of your mother and I knew it was you in an instant. Only the gods know how you survived the attack on that village and why you followed in my footsteps, but I have to assume it is meant to be. I've wanted to walk right up to you and embrace you to tell you the truth, but I was still a coward. I decided to leave Riften instead of facing your anger. I said good my goodbyes to Delvin and I headed to Solstheim, as far from the truth as I could get. I'm sorry, my daughter. I'm sorry for never being there to hold you at night or protect you from whatever hardship you endured. One day, I hope you'll make the journey to Solstheim and visit your father, Glover Mallory. So that's the real reason why he went to Solstheim. So the last thing we do after we've finished uh, looting the, uh, the house here is we'll head off to um, the Thieves Guild and we'll give that letter to Sapphire. And hopefully that'll stop him being such a bitter little cow. Okay, a little bit more upstairs, a few bits and bobs. Bit of gold, nom nom. Take some clothes for the kids. Take his gold. He's been really good to us and we're just robbing him blind. But hey, that's how we roll. Okay, let's start up another qu I should be more careful when I open those books because my quest line is getting a bit clogged. And let's take that for the kids as well. Okay, so what we do, we go outside and um, we'll make our way back to Riften. Hello, friend. We're one of the same kind, you and I. I'm glad. So here we are, Windhelm. We'll quickly fast travel back to the Thieves Guild. And we're going to see Sapphire. She's in here somewhere. Ah, oh, there she is. Well, hey there. What can you always brighten my day a little? I think this belongs to you. I, I can't believe it. All those years on the farm, and my mother never told me about any of this. Words can't even begin to describe how much I appreciate you bringing this to me. Ah, oh, what if she's softening? I now. used to carry it for good luck. But I think you deserve it more than I do. That's nice. 
And she's given exquisite sapphire, which is a unique item. You can't get Look, them anywhere else. I don't really know you. And there you I go. Don't really know anyone. <laughs> Why do you care anyway? It's not like we're family. So straight back to the dialogue. I really hope that she would have softened after doing this quest and turned, taken a different uh, line of the dialogue. But there you go. you got to love her. So all in all, a fantastic little quest. We got an exquisite uh, sapphire. Um, we got the Black Guard's armour. We've got uh, a Thieves Cache, which is the most important thing. We've got an improved recipe for bone mould armour. Um, and we've got an ancient Nordic pickaxe, uh, which we will need. Um, on our travels around Solstheim. So, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Have fun, and later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.